Good evening and welcome. I'm so excited to see you. And on behalf of BAFTA, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this evening. Over the past few months, we have been very busy reviewing the whopping 715 entries from 134 schools in 36 countries. We finally arrived at tonight in our amazing lineup. Let's get on with it and begin the 2022 Hugo BAFTA Student Awards. My name is Nyasha Attendi. I am the chair of the Learning, Inclusion and New Talent Committee at BAFTA and I'm very grateful for that because we are intimately involved with this event. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for the wonderful, wonderful work that all of you have put forward. It's been absolutely incredible. And this particular award, um, all of them were great, they were all wonderful, but I'm so grateful to be able to share this award. The filmmakers were incredibly, in incredibly talented and so full of empathy, kindness and love. It was a real joy and privilege to see. So, the nominees for Best Documentary Film are... Hi, I'm Shu Hao Xie. I'm originally from Shanghai, China. And in the past two years, I studied at news and documentary program in New York University. Uh, my thesis project found is a documentary about uh, a father who lost his son for 12 years. 12 years ago, his kid was kidnapped and uh, sold to another family. And uh, in the last year, with the help of Chinese police, the father found the kid. However, he was trapped by a new reality. I'm Emma Jackson. I am the director and writer of Walk, Run, Strive. I am currently doing my Masters of Screen Studies at Edith Cowan University in Mount Lawley, Perth, WA, Western Australia. My film is a short documentary about a young athlete, Madison Hetty, who is living with cerebral palsy. During the course of our documentary, Madison encountered a terrible accident and the film then obviously changed direction and it is now a beautiful story about a young woman's resilience in the face of adversity. I first got the idea to make this film when I met Maddie. As soon as I met her, I was just completely struck by her tenacity and her spirit and the light within her. I've always loved entertaining people. I've been an actor for 20, five years. I feel like I've come to a point in my life where I found my voice and what it is that I want to say and I feel like that's all accumulating at a time where I can do that from behind the camera and hopefully get messages out there to people that are entertaining and heartfelt and maybe laugh at life a little bit as well because it's you know it's hard being human and <laughs> it's also very intriguing and wonderful and I think all of that combined is is a huge inspiration for me to now tell stories from the other side of the camera. My name is Hansina, I'm 26 years old and I am from Norway and I graduated from Christiana College University last year. My movie is called What Nobody Talks About well, my film is about side effects of cancer treatment and the time after cancer because we most often hear about fighting cancer and or before but we don't so often hear about the time after and side effects after the treatment. My movie follows my cousin, uh, follows her on her way back to her daily life after two years of being sick, really. How I got my idea to make this film was because my teacher said 
because you're gonna work on this project for a year, you should make it about something that is important to you. Uh, but at that time, my cousin was still going through her treatment, like radiation treatment for her tumor in Germany. So I was like, no, I can't ask her. She's, you know, she's dealing with so much right now. But then I asked her and she said yes, and I'm so grateful. I was like, I was the director, the producer, uh, in the editing room, like editing a lot, the photographer, as well as being the cousin, you know, and making this movie about someone who means so much to me. Of course, I want to tell stories that can inspire or lift an important subject up to the surface so the public can see that this is happening, you know, as I think many filmmakers, they want to change the world with their films. And that's what I want to do too. <laughs> Drum roll, drum roll. And the award goes to Found. Well, I was so excited to get this prize and thanks BAFTA for holding everything. Uh, on the way to this theater, my friend drive me here and he played a music called California Dream. I think the dream girl does. <laughs> and I want to say some thank you. And thank, first of all, thanks Cal. My composer is, he's brilliant. And uh, <laughs> if you remember the end part of the film, he changed that for seven times. Seventh version is crazy. <laughs> and. <laughs> Yeah, and then I want to thank my parents, they support me, and my girlfriend, she's pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. Because I edited the film, and in the middle of time, I, I was almost quit, and she's always pushing me to finish that. And uh, also, I want to thank thanks New Stock uh, in uh, New York University and Professor Marshall Rock. Yeah, thank you all.